When you first land on the Maxim integrated website, you're going to have to create an account. So make sure you create an account and you're signed into it. And here's the link. I'll put it in the description below as well, the link to this file here. So we'll go ahead and download that. Save and open. Double click it. So I have an error code 255, so I want to extract it now. So we're just going to... Oh, now it wants to install. So now we have the software wizard up, and now I'm just going to go through that, and I'm going to change my C to F. Next. Sure, create the desktop icon, install, and let's launch it. Okay, so now we have the connection wizard up here, a connection for it. So we're going to go ahead and get our USB cable out. We're not going to plug in any of the probes yet, or the. To be honest, I wish everything came with a cable like this one. This is really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in just to see if uh, anything will happen on the computer. Setting up device or CDC device. So now we're just going to scan the ports. And my computer says on Windows 10 that it's on COM4, so I'm just going to go to that popped up in the bottom right of my other monitor. Now I'm just going to go ahead and connect. And then it is going to bring me up. So I actually think I saw a micro USB port on the bottom of the board. So I will try logging. After, I just wanted to kind of take a poke around here. So there we go, no issues setting up with Windows 10. So the plots, this is where you're going to see your, all your info when the probe or the electrodes are actually on you. You're going to actually see some results here. Then you enable whichever channel you want and then it's going to plot that. That's how I'm going to go. Yeah, and then start monitor. And then, uh, there we go.
sweet. Okay, so it works. I'm happy with that. I will be back with more.